consider the service spaces W1 equal to this set and W2 is, is equal to this set of R3 then dimension of W1 plus W2 equals. To solve this problem we have a formula to find dimension of sum of two subspaces W1 is equal to W2. So its a dimension will equal to dimension of dimension of W1 plus dimension of W2 minus dimension of intersection of W1 and W2. So to find dimension of this one we need this one this and this these three things we need to find dimension of W1 plus W2 what is the meaning of dimension the meaning of dimension if we are taking an element from W if we are taking any element from the set any element from the set for which we have to find the dimension of W for which we have to find the dimension then at how many position then at how many position we are independent or free we are independent or free means suppose I am taking we are talking about dimension of W1 so elements in W are x1, x2 and x3 these are constituent of element an element which is coming from R3 such that x1 is equal to x2 plus 2x3 it means this triplet or not triplet tuple belongs to R cube such that its first constituent its first consti constituent must satisfy this condition so we are free at two position x2 and x3 and x1 is independent on x2 and x3 so dimension of w1 dimension of w1 is equal to 2 now we have to find dimension of w2 dimension of w2 first elements in w2 are satisfying this condition 3x2 plus 2x3 3 3x2 plus 2x3 if x1, x2 and x3 are constituent of any element which belongs to W then it satisfies this condition. Similarly as W1 we are free at two choices so dimension of W2 is 2. Now we have to find dimension of intersection of W1 and W2. Intersection of W1 and W2 condition condition constituents satisfying x1 equal to first x1 equal to x2 plus 2x3 x1 x2 plus 2x3 and this is condition for W2 x1 equal to 3x2 plus 2x3 if you subtract these two then x1 cancel out and x3 is also cancel out so x2 equal to 0 it means x1 is depending on x2 and x3 and x2 is 0 so free variable free free variable only 1 so dimension of this one is equal to 1 now apply the formula dimension of 
W1 plus W2 equal to 2 plus 2 minus 1 is equal to 3. You can find dimension of intersection by this condition. Suppose W1 is this one and W2 is this one, then find dimension by common basis element. Number of common element in common basis. So we will find basis for W1. If x1, x2 and x3, if this element is in W1, then it can be written as x1 is linear combination of x2 plus 2 times x3 x2 is same as and x3 so it can be written as x2 x2 and 0 plus 2 x3 0 and x3 this is if you take x2 as a common 1 1 0 plus x3 2 0 1 so these are two linearly independent and this is a spanning set any element can be written as linear combination of these two so basis of w1 is equal to 1 1 0 comma 2 0 1 this is the basis for w1 and basis for W2 will be any element of W2 can be written as x1 is linear combination of x2 and x3 and combination is like this 2x3 x2 and x3 if you don't know to, how to find the basis then you can Prepare yourself seeing this video how I am finding basis. So it can be written as x2 outside and it will be 3 0 1 plus x3 outside 2 0 1. So basis of W2 will be 3 0 1 and second element is 2 0 1 now you can see here this element this element is common in both bases so common basis beta is containing 2 0 1 only this element and number of element in bases is known as dimension so dimension of intersection is one intersection means common elements so common element in basis is this so dimension of intersection is one so answer of this question is three